everybody. Hi, everyone. Mr. and Mrs. Travel here. No cost glam. Coming to and welcome to day number eight. Day number eight. We are so happy that you've been hanging with us on these 12 days of cruise Fest, and we have a whole lot of information for you. All right. So today, guys, we're going to go back and dig into a little bit less known cruise line this time. Um, and we're going to kind of veer into the luxury market again. Mm -hmm. um, this one is actually one that is on my to-do list. I definitely want to do. Yes, Mr. Traveler loves to travel the world and he loves the ocean. But once he sees a ship he wants, he, he don't stop until he gets there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So today, guys, we're going to talk about Windstar Cruise Lines. Windstar. And uh, what, what drew me to this and why I say that I want to try this is actually there are older ships that attract me more than their newer ones. This is a smaller cruise line, so therefore very small, intimate ships. Um, again, these are the kind of ships that get into those nooks and crannies and those islands that the big boys just can't get into because they don't have the deep water ports. I really like the idea that they can reach places that the big ships normally don't go to. So you will get to experience different places that other people don't. And usually these ships are less than a thousand people on them. Oh yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And the thing, the the thing that draws me about the older ships is that some of the older ships, the Wind Star, the Wind Surf, and the Wind Spirit, are all full mast sailing ships. Um, so they have, you know, I don't know, was it four, five, six full masts that they have sails, and they actually sail under wind power at times. So it's a cruise ship and a sailboat. Yes. And I, I'm just, I'm... Well, I don't, I don't feel comfortable saying boat is a ship, It right? is a ship. <laughs> it is a ship. We have um, to remember these cruises are ships, not boats. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. There is a distinction. Yes, and if we say it incorrectly, people will correct us. <laughs> so, I, I have a, I, I don't know, I have like a, a romantic uh, affliction with, with uh, sailboats. You love them. Um, I mean, I'm the type of person I could get a sailing like a catamaran and just sail off into the sunset. It's the idea of freedom on the ocean. It is. You can go anywhere you want to go. Once you have that sail up, you can. You don't even need fuel. <laughs> you can just go wherever you yeah. want. Yeah, I mean that's what it is. I think that is. I think the that's enough. That. Just the idea, idea of freedom. I like that. I'm with it. But I, I, lo <laughs> I love sailing. I love sailboats and sailing yachts and. Mm -hmm. Um, I just, I just really, really enjoy that. I'm a, I'm a boating person, and I, sure. and I love, I love, love sailboats. And so, if you want to invite <laughs> us on your sailboats, make sure you call us. We, we can come where, wherever you are. <laughs> yes, I would love to sail on this and sail under the full power of that, and just experience that, and watch them raise the sails and learn about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, these are cruises that are, yes, they're intimate, but they're also knowledge-based cruises, so they're. You can learn about sailing. And I do have the other uh, traditional uh, ships in their fleet that are, you know, they look like regular smaller cruise ships, um, kind of like the Silver Sea. They put you in mind of the Silver Sea, sure. same size. It's kind of size. the same as that line, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. So right now they have six ships in their fleet. So they have the three with the full with the full on sails, and then there's three that are uh, what you consider traditional cruising ships, all of their. You know, like I said, on, like Miss Travis said, on the very small side, mm -hmm. uh, so very few passengers on there. I think what's different between this and Silver Sea is that the price point seems to be um, a little bit better. We've actually seen some cruises on there on the yeah. Windstar that were actually pretty pretty affordable. It was very shocking because this line is a is a very upscale premium line, so it's very very rare to see an economical price for Windstar. Yeah. If you see it, get it. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, we had been looking lately because we were considering doing this next year and we looked at it. Seven day cruises for not that much more than what I would pay for Royal Caribbean. It was more, um, but not, it really wasn't that much more. You know, again, these are attention to detail. Yeah, it's a very small ship, so mm -hmm. it's personalized service. Uh, I'm sure everybody probably gets to know you and you get to know the other passengers on board. You know your neighbors yeah. and it feels like uh, you just 
cruising with just friendly people. And when it's a really small crowd, you get to, like Mr. Traveler said, you get to know everybody. And your waist staff, your butlers, housekeepers, everybody will get to know you because the staff is so big and the the um, sellers are so small. We live in an awesome world with tropical islands, enchanted coastlines, gleaming port cities, storybook villages with wonders beyond compare. What better way to explore it all than by yacht? Windstar is 180 degrees from any other kind of cruise. Yacht style cruising is about freedom. The freedom to do as you please. No waiting in lines. Freedom to dine when, where, and with whomever you choose. With culinary artistry that will simultaneously wow you and make you feel very much at home. Windstar's fleet is made up of three luxury power yachts and three iconic luxury sailing ships. Designed to our exacting specifications, carrying fewer than 300 guests. By design, it's made to feel like your own private yacht. True luxury isn't grandiose. It's simple. Make it all about you, our guest. Whether that means helping to create a very special occasion or knowing just when to stay out of the way. Windstar has created an experience that's all about our guests. Perhaps that's why readers of Condé Nast Traveler voted us the world's best small ship cruise line. Windstar's yachts get you closer to the world, closer to natural wonders, closer to the people and immersed in the cultures we visit. On a yacht, there are simply fewer barriers between you and authentic experiences. We are in the magic moments business, curating unique voyages to legendary places and places nobody else goes. Bringing you unforgettable private events, as well as the freedom to create your own perfect moments. We invite you to think of these yachts as your yachts. Welcome aboard Windstar Cruises. And just this year, uh, Condé Nast Traveler uh, announced it's the uh, reader's choice was for Windstar as the best small cruise ship line out there. They got voted that In award the this world. year. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so they do it very they do it very well. It's really, you know, it's it's high end service without necessarily the high end price. Mm -hmm. Uh again, reaching hard to reach ports. So if you want a very intimate experience uh with you and your significant other to get out there and explore some places that you just can't get to on the big boys. Mm -hmm. Um if you want to have a nice quiet relaxing time in doing so and just make it all about the adventure and the relaxation at the same time when it is the one for me is going to be one of those full mast ships i think the diff the uh, experience is why you would take a windstar the mass, the learning how to sail. They teach lectures on how to sail. You have to really love the ocean to, to sail on a windstar and you want to definitely make it a, a priority to to have a special moment on there because it's it's not cheap to sail Windstar. So you want to make sure that either it's like a anniversary, a birthday or something like that. Just I would compare it to Silver Seas, but it's to me it's more more economical than Silver Seas. But it's the same type of crowd that's on Silver Seas is on Windstar. But you want to go for Windstar for the experience and the destinations that get like Mr. Trapper said they get into those small areas in the world that you normally would not see. All right guys and 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 you know let me say this I'm going to put this at every single at the end of every single video that we do for these next 12 days to me there's no better gift than the gift of a of a cruise or a vacation under the tree. Mm -hmm. Uh to, I, I don't know how you feel but it always I do know how you feel. <laughs> um it always trumps everything. It trumps a material gift. To me, uh, having a trip of going somewhere, making memories, seeing new things, meeting new people, experiencing this great big place that we call the Earth, 
uh, is is priceless to me. It is. Presents are a gift. It's not meaningless, but then if you want to set some real memories, you want to you want to go ahead and travel the world. And the best way to do it is on a cruise where you can wake up every day and land in a different destination. And you can't put a price on that. You can't put a gift on that. That's timeless. That's a priceless gift. So if you're ready to make that call, just give us a call at 877-877. 697-4470 or you can book online at www.mr-traveler.com we can make that memory happen for you imagine when your kids go back to school uh, and they start uh, studying <laughs> geography and history and things like that and they can actually relate to it because they've been to the places so maybe you've taken them on a european uh, vacation and they went to Greece and they're studying Greece they can really relate oh I was there I saw the I saw that you know I saw those ruins and and you know I, I think that's great me too also when you're healthy and you're able to do it take that time and do it what's better time to do it than now maybe next year you can plan for a Christmas cruise maybe you don't want to put up the bells and whistles around your home decorate you just want to go ahead and hit the Caribbean we got you covered uh, they do get into a lot of I know they get into a lot of nooks and crannies in the Caribbean for sure mm -hmm. um, and I know they have to compete and they so they made these other vessels out here but I kind of wish and part of me wishes like they would have stuck to the full mast for their entire fleet because I think it's so unique. We've seen it takes, the, it takes them takes them apart from other cruise lines. We have seen them out while yes. we're on other cruise ships and just seen them sailing past with they all their sails up. I just like wow, that looks so cool, you know. The sails catch everybody's attention. You can't miss them. They are huge, and it's a real, literally, a, a, it looks like a sailboat, but it's actually a ship. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Like short. Have fun. See the world. Go on and see it. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.